Okay. Um, your net assessment of uh, President Bia's 42 years reign as President of uh, Cameroon. Well, Mr. Kum, you see, uh, my first shock is that um, after yesterday's uh, deadly accident mm -hmm. on the Falaise de, de, de Inchatier, where we lost something close to 100 people, although they are not, yes, yes, three coastal buses were buried in the mud. Three. They were not empty, sir. The buses loaded with people. That's true. So, you see, this is something that ought to have attracted a na some national money. Yeah, but but numbers... it has been passed, it has been silent. If you look at the communique of the governor of the Western region, he talks of three coastal buses. Were there empty buses? There were people inside. Yeah, but I'm, I'm sure I was communicating with somebody who was there and he talked about if they know mm -hmm. the casualties could get up to, to 10. I was talking to, directly with people. Have, have they removed all those buses? I don't know. Thank you. Yep. You see, that is something. This is These are transport buses that were coming from either Chang or Bafusa or Bamenda. Yeah, but not only uh, those buses were there. Uh, there were other vehicles. There were yeah. five, uh, five uh, small, small cars. Mm -hmm. See, so I'm saying that instead of uh, this government ordering national mourning, they are instead celebrating the president's uh, uh, anniversary in power. Uh, that shows you how the entire uh, time he has been in office has been. I mean, they don't seem to have any real uh, empathy for human life because you cannot imagine that that type of accident happened. And I think it's another one around Moliwe. No, those were old videos. Ah, okay. So, mm -hmm. when you have that those type of things, you you expect them to at least hold and see where in memory of the dead. But nothing. It went, just went as if we are supposed to be in a festive mood. I am not. So how do I see his 42 years of reign? Mm -hmm. Well, in the very brilliant speech that you read, he referred to his uh, predecessor as his illustrious predecessor. Illustrious predecessor. I don't want to say what happened after the, uh, between them after that. But this illustrious predecessor gave him a country that was that had a very good signature because he was asked by certain journalists, how is the signature of Cameroon? He said, the signature is very good. Now, 42 years on, I, I, I would like uh, my CPDM colleague to mm. tell the, stage, the, nation, the nation at what level we, the finances of the country are. We have visited IMF for the past 30 years and we have not left. We are there. So how are our finances? I mean, he took a country that was financially buoyant. I want to remind you that in, under Ahijo, Ahijo, these Southeast Asians came here for training. People from Singapore, Malaysia, came here, in here to learn how to cultivate pumps from CDC. Where is Malaysia today economically? So you can imagine that. Security-wise, he took a country that was at peace. Where is the country today? At war. So, in fact, he was given everything. He was given Cameroon on a platter of diamond. Mm -hmm. And he is living it in shambles. So, that's my first uh, appraisal of the 42 years. Okay.